the Kalaya peak eruption continues this morning. Eruptive activity is limited to the falling block in Halama, Yuma, U crater within Kalaya summit caldera. No unusual activity was recorded along Kalaya's east rift zone or southwest rift zone. Several small fountains remain active on the eastern side of the Halamama crater floor and on the lower block within Kalaya summit caldera. The vent line extends approximately 0.8 miles (1.4 kilometers) from the eastern part of the Halamama crater floor to the eastern wall of the fallen block. Effusion levels appear to have fallen from initial eruption levels, but remain high. The height of the lava fountain has decreased since the eruption occurred, but remained at around 10 to 15 meters (32 to 50 feet) this morning. Lava that erupted from fissures in the fallen blocks flowed westward toward Halamama Crater, covering much of the surface with active lava. The laser rangefinder was aimed at the western part of the Halamama Crater, not near any new eruptive activity, and recorded about 2.5 m (8 feet) of new lava added to the bottom of the crater. The peak slope remained deflationary over the last 24 hours. Peak seismic activity is dominated by tremor eruptions, signals related to fluid movement. Volcanic gas emissions in the eruption area increased. Between 4 and 5 p.m. yesterday, HVO staff measured initial sulfur dioxide SO2, emissions levels of up to 100,000 tons per day or more. Emission levels appear to be lower this morning but have not been confirmed by additional measurements at this time. Thus, the current eruption may very well only last for less than a 12-day long duration, but we do not know, it could last significantly longer.